This is a world exclusive, the all new 2024 Roush F-150, and I'm going to tell you everything about it. In this video, we're going to go over all of the details you need to know, like what are the availability of the 24 Roush F-150? What kind of trim levels can you get it on? What are all of the options and accessories that Roush gives you when you order one of these trucks? That's what's going to happen in this video. So first off, let's talk about the trim levels that are available. First off, you have an STX, not pictured, an XLT, and then a Lariat as well. What's crazy about this is going to be the black appearance package is going to be mandatory on every single one of these vehicles. Let's talk about color availability. So on the STX, you get all of these colors available right out of the gate. If you step up to the XLT, you also get those same number of colors, but you also pick up the ability to go with antimatter blue. And if you step all the way up to the Lariat, you also get everything that's in the XLT and below, as well as star white. So it's kind of nice to know all the different color options that are available. Now let's talk a little bit more about one of the main things that you see, and that is the exterior of this truck. The front end of this truck is really where this thing shines. Now, first thing you're going to notice off is the grill. I'm going to cover that in detail here in just a second, but I want to talk about what's going on down here. So the very first thing you need to know is that all of these Roush F-150s, the reason they have to be that black appearance package is because if not, and you get certain trim levels, this bottom part of the bumper actually comes in chrome. And Roush definitely understands that this would kind of look a little funny if this was chrome instead of color matched. Now, a couple of things that Roush Performance does to this front end that's outside of just the grill, because I'm gonna tell you, I just got through talking with some of the engineers and it's amazing how many different things that they've done to this vehicle. A lot of people think that it's just, oh, they slap a grill on, they slap an exhaust system on and call it a day. It's quite the opposite. And I think you're gonna believe me when I get done with this video. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about is this whole lower piece is actually completely re-engineered re and brand new for the 24 model year. They've realized that all of the airflow for this vehicle is enough through the grill, so they were able to do something kind of fun down here. We've got an entire engineered piece down here that allows for a hidden light bar, an amber light bar that comes standard on every one of these. Now, because of DOT you know, regulations and things like that, they all come with this cover, but very simple and easy. You just turn these, it pops off, and you've got full access to that amber light bar, which is a pretty cool little setup. Now, you might be wondering, well, what if I live in one of those states that has to have a front tag bracket? What do you do there? Well, built into this are actually two pre-drilled holes right here and Roush also gives you a full dedicated bracket that goes right in there, and it's not gonna permanently modify and scar up your brand new front end. Now it's time to talk about one of my favorite things on this entire truck, and that is going to be the grill. Zzz plural and i'm going to show you what i mean as an stx and xlt goes you actually have a different headlight from the oem factory where it requires this coast to coast grill so roush had to re-engineer for that specific setup but if you go with the lariat you'll notice that they've got these drls that run in place of where that coast to coast grill normally would have gone so they've had to engineer two completely different grills although they are very very similar in look and style and function Kind of getting back to this one, you're going to notice that they've got a high flow grill opening, which allows for more aerodynamics, more airflow into the grill, into the engine bay than it does from the factory. Now, there's one problem with that. You let more air in, it's got to go somewhere. Now you've got those OEM heat extractors on the sides of those badges, but you also have for Roush, you've got this brand new heat extractor that's actually installed on the truck itself. What's so cool about that, and I'm gonna pop the hood and show this to you because to me it's kind of important, is it's not just letting air out, but when you have these grills that allow the air to come out, you have to worry and wonder what's gonna go on with the actual water. What happens when it rains? Well, not only do you have this this nice finished look, but this is kind of a rain tray, if you will. And what happens is when rain comes in, it channels down here all the way to the exit. And that way it drops the water somewhere in this area where the electronics are not. 
and it keeps it away from backside of the block. So it's the small attention to detail is one of the reasons that I love the Roush F-150 and love them as a partner of ours for quite some time. And by the way, if you did not realize, TC Customs, our YouTube channel is associated with Town & Country Ford, and we're one of the largest Roush Performance supercharger dealers in the entire world. And I'm also excited to tell you we've got a couple of these trucks on order. And if you're interested in one, you can give us a call. Don't tell my guys at Roush, but I'll be happy to honor invoice pricing on any of those that you order with us. So give us a call if you're interested in doing that. Now I wanna talk a little bit more about the fun facts of this grill, and that is going to be with the lighting. Let's take a look at this real quick. I'm gonna grab the keys, and I'm gonna turn this thing on for you. Take a look at this. What is so cool about this is you've actually got the functional Roush is lit up and you've also got a sequential light so when you turn it on it's got this really cool animation in addition to that because Roush is a little bit wider than the OEM factory F-150 and it's kind of right there on the border when you get close to a certain width you actually have to have uh, uh, FMVSS lights basically if you notice that the Raptor F-150s have got these three amber lights well so does the Roush they wanted to make sure they were 100% in compliance but what's so cool about that is at night you've got these lights but the cool part is is that when you turn them off they disappear behind that solid black pane I think it's a really, really sweet little setup the way that they've done those lights up here. Now you'll also notice that this grill is actually painted black on every single one of them. And then you've got a separate piece that runs right in here that is painted silver to kind of give it that perfect contrast. Now keep in mind, this is a pre-production prototype. Uh, so if something doesn't look quite right or like there's a scratch or a scuff on it, that's just because we've been playing around with it. So don't pay any attention to that. Your truck's gonna come in absolutely perfect. Another fun fact about the outside of this truck, you'll notice this one has got the Roush fender flares built into it. And just like we talked about with those amber lights in the grill, you've also got them here on the actual fender flare. That is a part of that requirement to make sure that you're legal in all 50 states. Now, what you'll notice, this one's actually painted to match. When you take a look at this over here, you'll notice this is that unfinished. Now there's a couple of colors that are extremely difficult to color match to and I completely understand we've been there before so some of these flares will come painted to match and some will come satin depending on the color choice that you pick out a couple of other things you're going to notice is you've also got a matte decal here on the hood itself that is on every one of these trucks these are a really nice I call this like a glare guard basically if you've got that sun that's beaming down on you it's not going to reflect right back into your eyes and I do like that that's one of the reasons that I matted my entire Bronco Raptor out is for that exact same reason there is so much more going on in this area, but I've got to save that for a little bit further in the video. Kind of like these lights, wheels, tires, suspension, things like that. But I want to focus on these outside cues, the, the visuals. You'll notice you've got the American flag on either side. Now this is very specific because it actually has the upgraded bedside graphic that runs down the length of the truck. If you don't go for this option, the American flag is moved to the back and you've got the Roush logo on the lower part of the door itself. So it's just kind of nice that you've got a couple of different graphics options depending on what your personal preference is. On the back side of the truck, you're going to notice a couple of different things. First off, you've got your Roush badging. What I've noticed when I was talking to these engineers that it's not just about these massive, huge changes and making something gaudy, but it's more about the attention to detail. Like in the previous generation of the Roush F-150, they just had a little sticker back here. Now they've actually got a raised 3D emblem type back here. And I think it's those small attentions to details that really makes a big difference. Uh, like a couple of other things I'm gonna show you on the inside here in just a second. But a couple of other things I wanna show you is you've got a set of Diode Dynamics rear lights, they're backup lights, they come standard on every single one of these Roush F-150s. The auxiliary lighting, I think, is a great idea. Now, the other thing you're gonna point out back here, and I'm gonna cover this in detail, but you'll notice this one has the factory exhaust tips to it. What's interesting about the Roush F-150 is every single one of these trucks gets an active exhaust system from the factory turnkey. It's no longer an option like it used to be. And uh, there is two different types of exhaust systems that you can get from Ford. Because this is the higher trim level, it's got the dual exhaust system out of the back. And if you go with something like the STX that doesn't have these types of cutouts, what you get is you get a brand new exhaust tips. They're stainless steel, brushed stainless steel that come out the back. But in any way that you look at it, they're all active exhaust systems. A couple of other things on the back side of this truck, you notice we've got the three amber lights in the front where well, you've got the three red lights 
tickets out back once again to make sure this truck is 50 state legal. But what's crazy is that the fitment on this, it looks like it is straight up OEM. That's one of the things I love about Roush is a lot of people don't know this. They're kind of like an engineering firm first and then they are also car guys. And so they use that power of being a, a car guy, but also have a lot of really smart engineers to come up with something that is just really a cohesive package. But you also get something that's really cool, like this little Roush hitch cover. So that way you can still tow out of it, but it just kind of finishes up the truck a little bit better. On the inside of the Roush F-150, this is where some more significant upgrades come from. And I'll go ahead and tell you, this is the STX trim level. I'm also gonna cover this Lariat here in just a second. So bear with me because there's a lot to talk about here. The first and foremost, this one has got the premium upgraded leather seats. So this is the brown and black combination. And as you can see, it looks amazing. You've got Roush stitched here. You've got the Jack Roush signature stitched here. And the cool part is they completely upgrade the leather on the inside out of this. So uh, the STX factory has actually a vinyl cover here. Roush takes that off and they re-upholster it with a higher end leather. And what's crazy is they don't even stop there. They also cover the entire interior with really nice high glossy carbon fiber. This is not that fake carbon fiber that you find on you know some cheap little parts catalog if you will, but instead they've got actual carbon fiber. The fit and the finish is fantastic and it's not too much. You can overdo it and Roush has not in this particular setup, but there's no hard jagged edges. Everything is nice, smooth and sanded. This is a significant update on the interior of this truck. Continuing on with the interior theme, you're going to notice right here is a really cool console vault that you can actually, I don't think it, oh, it is unlocked. There we go. So you've actually got a lot of <laughs> plastic bags that are stored in here. So you really don't lose all that much storage space on the inside of here. So that way you can lock a firearm away in here or just some jewelry or whatever it is that's important to you. You can actually store it down in here and lock it away without any question at all. That's a pretty sweet little setup. Now, the other thing I wanna point out to you is this little badge right here. Check this out. This is serial number 24.0001. This is the first one ever built getting to show it to you before Roush has even announced it to the world. I'm so glad you guys are along for the ride. But in addition to that, I wanna talk about this switch up here. This switch does a lot of different things. It covers your front light, which this one actually has the cover on it so you can't see the amber light, but it does come standard on every one of them. You also have the rear light just by pressing this, but take a look at the, the, the fitment, the details, right? So you've got the Roush branding right here, but outside of that, everything looks OEM. You see this blue surround? It actually matches all of the buttons in the rest of the vehicle. It looks like it belongs there. And the cool part is, is when you turn that light on, notice how it turns amber so that way you know automatically, oh, I gotta turn my, my rear light on or off, that kind of thing. You've also got the exhaust system located right there. In fact, let's go ahead and give you a listen as to what this thing sounds like with the exhaust valves closed and with them opened. Moving back to this auxiliary switch setup, you've also got the wiring already done for the ditch lights. You can turn those on and off. And then lastly, you've got one basic auxiliary switch that is automatically pre-wired underneath the hood. So that way, if you wanna tap in a different accessory, you've got that ability right there. It's really a nice little setup the way Roush has got that pre-wired for you, just like Ford did on the Ford Bronco auxiliary switches. On the inside of the Lariat, there are a few notable differences, but I'm not gonna repeat everything that you just heard. So first things first, you still have the ability to go with upgraded leather, so that's nice to know. You've also got the upgraded center console, just like we've got. A lot of things are gonna be very, very similar. So what I wanna focus on are what are the differences? You may not have realized this, but the Lariat's got a completely different dash from Ford Motor Company. You'll notice that this carbon piece is actually different on this versus the STX version, and I also think the XLT as well. But the other thing you're going to notice is that the carbon, there's a little bit more on this Lariat because there's different types of door panels from Ford Motor Company as well. But I'll tell you, the, the biggest sleeper of the options that I did not realize until I had a chance to see it up close and personal is going to be the optional upgraded Alpine stereo system. 
I thought this was just gonna be like, oh, they swapped some new speakers and it, yay, fancy, fine, whatever. Dude, this thing, yes, it's a $2,100 option. When I first saw that, I was like, that, there's no way it can be that much better than a B&O system or that much better than a what have you. You cannot, I can, I can sit here play the system for you, but it never comes through correctly on a microphone. You're just gonna take my word for it. This is the biggest update on stereo system. It's gotta be at least twice as good as the B&O Unleashed stereo system so even if you have the unleashed it is still a viable option if that's something that you're wanting to go for and one of my favorite things about it are the subs in the back the subs are two eight inch speakers now i've got this particular setup i've got the uh, panel removed off of this from the factory you're going to actually have this cover but i wanted to show off the alpine amplifier as well as your two eight inch subs located in the back once again it's one of those things i can't explain it you just have to try it in addition to the front carbon fiber, you've also got carbon fiber in the rear, so that way your rear occupants are not left out in the cold. But in addition to that, you also have an optional Roush branded toolkit if that's you, what you need, like a recovery kit, as well as a battery jump starter if that's what you're wanting. It's kind of neat all of the different options that they give you as a la carte package options. Popping back out for a quick second to talk about one of my favorite things, and that is the wheels, tires, and suspension. So the first things first, this truck has got a set of 33 inch tires. These are General Grabber ATXs in their 305 55 20 tire. That's what it is. Now what's cool about this tire is it is a three peak mountain rated tire, which is basically telling you this thing is really good for the snow, it's good for the rain, and really good for all around use. Now the wheel itself is a 20 by nine with a positive 18 millimeter offset, and it makes this thing fit flush, especially with these fender flares. Now, how do we achieve that? And this is going to be a brand new suspension system from Roush Performance. A custom tune, custom calibration. Everything is powder coated red. It looks really good. Now, if I hadn't had a chance to drive this thing on the street yet, because as I'm filming this, the truck has not even debuted to the world. So I can't drive it right now. But from what they are telling me, this thing is going to be a significant improvement from the previous generation suspension system, which was the Fox coilover setup. So a really cool setup, but my po most important fa favorite factor is the fact that you can actually use this suspension system with Blue Cruise. They certify that it actually works with Blue Cruise and all of the safety features that are now included on these 24 trucks. Now let's talk about performance. First up, this active exhaust system is pretty sweet. Now I've already talked to you about that every one of these Roushes come with the active exhaust system automatically standard, but this is that brushed stainless steel that we were talking about with the Roush logo on the tips themselves. Now I know what you're probably thinking, why in the world are these stainless instead of black? everything else is black well there's one thing that you have to realize is that this tire is kicking up a lot of rocks especially if you're going to be using and abusing this truck like you should be and so the last thing you want to do is pelt that beautiful black stainless black uh, exhaust tip and it start to look kind of grungy so what roush has done is they went this route so that way they could fully warranty this thing all the way through but what's so cool about this is that the entire exhaust system is actuated turned on turned off with that built-in system System, the switch that you saw overhead just a few minutes ago. It's really a sweet little trick setup. And the actuator is built up right next to the muffler. I also consider lighting a part of performance. So I wanna cover, once again, you've got this amber light right here. You've also got the optional ditch lights that are also gonna be wired into that same switch earlier that we talked about, as well as those rear lights. It's nice that they've given you a lot of auxiliary off-road lighting. It's not just a couple of appearance packages, but I know what most of you guys are thinking. What in the world is going on with the horsepower and the torque? Well, that's why I'm so excited to announce to you guys that Roush Performance is making a supercharger that is going to fit this 24 model year. Now, we're currently working on some things. I say we, like, I'm, like I work at Roush. I don't work at Roush. We are a dealer for them, but they are currently working on the tune for that 24 model year truck. And what's crazy is they're trying to make it to where all of the 24 F-150s that get supercharged, that same part can also apply to previous generation F-150s as well. So I think it's kind of neat that they're trying to cross compatibilize. I don't even know if that's a word, but we're gonna go roll with it. But they're trying to make it cross compatible amongst a lot of different F-150s. The last thing most people are asking about is, well, okay, this is a high performance truck. What else do you get high performance? And that is going to be a Roush supercharger is available post title install at your dealership. And that's the reason you want to select a dealership that's been doing it for quite some time. Town and Country Ford, which is who we're associated with, has been installing these Roush superchargers for well
well over 20 years. And currently, I believe we are the number one Roush supercharger dealer in the world. So we're really proud of that. So you don't want to just let anybody install your supercharger. So whether you want the supercharger installed or just to buy one of these trucks or both, hit us up. The number's right there on the screen. Thanks so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Peace.